hi everyone welcome to Ijayo tech mm -hmm. so in this video we'll be looking at the cambridge igcse ict paper 2 presentation i'll be looking at may june 2021 the second bird so let's dive in into presentation okay <laughs> all right so let's dive into presentations okay um okay okay i think i think we're here <laughs> all right we're here Right, so tag six presentation you're going to create a short presentation all slides must have a consistent layout and formatting unless otherwise instructed slide must be formatted to display a title and bulleted list okay so 29 create a presentation of six slides using the file j2122 rules okay so obviously for you to get this done you have to open the presentation in the background okay and once you have done that you click on file and you click on open and over you can either browse but obviously um this is shorter since i'm recording i'm, I'm doing a recording so i'll click on um folder i'm going to locate it locate it quickly here um okay so this okay so i think it's 21 22 rules okay i have it here click on open Okay, so it's um, enable editing. Okay, so uh, so it's okay done. So um, now um, a presentation of six slides using the file. So if you check it, there are six slides. Okay, so yeah. Place in the footer your name, center number, candidate number. Um, the footer must be displayed in all slides. Okay, so obviously we're going to the master slide. Uh, so slide master, scroll down to the first one right here, and then we can click on insert, and then headers and footers. We are going to check the footers, right? And then we can type in our name, center number AN017, A for Agile, N for ND. Okay, um, candidate number is 2023. Okay, um, anything else? Um, nope, apply to all slides. I'm going to format this a bit. Um, okay, we have this here. Okay, so this is okay, this is done, and all the stress for one mark. <laughs> now, on the slide with the title transition. Okay. Oh, we are my manners. I've not saved it yet, and I'm going to save it right here, right now. Okay, so copy and click on file, click on savers, and um, okay, so I'm going to paste it here. Okay. So this is going to save done now um they said on the slide with the title transition so let's look for the slide with the title click on view click on normal so that's done so transition i think it's right here so on the slide with transition yeah demote the last three bullet item so they look like this now i'm going to explain something real quick now right here on the slide master we have this now we have different levels obviously this is the first level this is the second level this is the third level this is the fourth level this is the fifth level all this is with indentation so we indented the first one it goes to the second level we indent it it goes to the third level when you indent it, it goes to the fourth level. And when you indent it, it goes to the fifth level. Okay? So let's get that done. So I demoted to the uh what de demoting it um the last three bulleted items. So obviously this is um looking at it, this is the second level. I want to be sure. Um let's look at it. I think this is the third level. 
Yes, the third level, the third level. Okay, uh, obviously this is this is um, this is the second level already. So third level. Okay, um, so let's so let's switch to our normal view. So right here, transition. We have competitors must not. So right here, we are going to change the bullets to. Um, we we'll customize it to a dash. I think I've used it before. Okay, yeah. Okay, and we're going to hit on tab. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's the first level, and what are we going to do? Is it legs? So we're going to make it an it legs. yes so um so we have that okay done okay so this is completed change the layout of the slide with a tie to common penalties to a tie to and table so change the layout um of the slide with a tie to okay so let's do the tie to here okay so we're changing the layout to uh, now when they tell you um, to a tie to and table now this simply means changing it to tie to and content and then we can click on table oh no thank you we don't need the designer okay we'll fix that later um so we have four columns 13 rows four columns 13 rows Okay, so um, well, that's quite a lot, but all right. So we have that. Copy the data from the file J twenty one J J twenty one twenty two tables and place this in the table. Okay, so let's copy it. Um, J twenty one twenty two tables. Okay, obviously it's going to be CSV. Yeah. Yes, it's a CSV. Um, so we have this here. We're just copying it, so we're not doing anything much on it. Um, yeah. Okay, so this is. Um, okay, we'll copy this. And we're going to place this here. Okay. So hit on. Okay, I can just right click and I can paste it here. I can paste this, paste this, um, paste this. Obviously, this is better. So, um, obviously, I'm going to do this um, right here. Okay. Now, let's. Okay, so this is. Uh, Format the table so a plain table is applied with no cell shading. Okay, with no cell shading. So let's do that. I'm going to uh, click on my table design. The shading is no fill, and it's going to have a border. Okay, so the border is um, all internal and external grid lines are displayed when printed. So a plain table is applied. With no cell shading. All right. Insert two new rows at the first two rows of the table. Okay, so we're going to insert two new rows. Okay, so just going to copy this. Right click. You know what? I'm just going to. No, um, copy the both of them, right click, and um, yeah, at the top, okay. And I'm going to type enter the text and format row one and two of the table so they look like this. So I have conduct.
and I have um, obviously I'm just going to copy this copy going to paste this here okay paste okay um, all right stop and go right click copy paste this time copy and finally we have disqualification no Okay, just going to going to try this in. Um, you know what? Let me just. Okay, I'm. I'm just trying here. Nope, it doesn't work. Um, obviously, I'm just going to do this. Okay, I think this is. This qualification has to be on its own, so I'm just going to find a way to get this qualification on its own. Okay, so going to yes, I'm going to match this. Click on layout, yeah, and this is going to be central line. Um, okay, and this is going to be okay, conduct for both of them, merge central line. This, the same thing with this, okay, all right. Adjust the column width so data in column one is displayed on one line. Okay, so in column one, to adjust the column width so data in column one is displayed. So in column one, they are displayed in one line. So I'm just going to adjust it. So obviously, they know it has the capacity to display in one line, and they want you to ensure it does that okay all right so what else the table fits on the slide with all data fully visible now fully visible is where we're going to really have to work on and um, so obviously I'm going to increase this um, okay um, I think this seems um, fully visible enough but I'm still going to adjust this Okay, um, a bit, yeah. So obviously, you don't want any overlapping. You don't want that, guys. You don't want any overlapping because obviously um, you're gonna lose points from it. Um, I think I can adjust this to fit in here, center. Okay, and I can also do this as well. Um, just to fit him here as well so um, I think um, we've been able to do that okay um, 
okay this is completed this is also completed save the presentation so let's save the presentation click on file save print all slides in the presentation as handouts with two slides to the page okay so i'm putting all slides in the presentation as handout with two slides to the page okay so click on file print and it's going to be two slides to it so um okay um we have it here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay um so we have it yeah so so yeah so print this handout make sure your name center number kind of number are on all slides so print out seven so we have this here so this is going to be a printout i'm just going to look for it okay okay this is going to be print out seven okay so we can check it to see that data are fully visible okay are fully visible yes we're done with that okay um just to have a quick check okay so yeah so data are fully visible yeah fully visible okay so yeah we're we're done with this question okay so we're going to save the presentation Okay, so this is for a 30 mark um, question. So, let's see some things. So, I think we just have to adjust. I think we have to adjust this. I'm just, um, I have a knack for making it the same. Yeah, I'm just going to print this again. So this is for print up seven. Okay, I'm going to save this and now obviously in your printouts you just um the PDF is just there to uh Okay, just going to replace it. Okay, so I'm going to open it again. Uh, yes, that's better. Okay, you want them to be within. Okay, so uh, yes, so I, I think we're done. And please, it's important that you don't just, you know, watch the videos and have fun with it, but also practice along with it. And please don't just practice along with it. Do what to like it. Like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more in-depth teaching on ICT IGCSE. Bye.